Galleon has had a huge success run with its 485, but market research showed that a smaller model with the same features was definitely called for. So here we have the 425 HTS by Galleon. Join me as I conduct a features inspection. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll start our inspection right here at the aft platform. It comes out 40 inches from the transom. Right in the center is a three-step reboarding ladder, and it's got teak treads. Grab handles are to both sides. There's a full-length grab rail going across this seating area. I like to see that. And underneath, take a look at this. Huge storage compartment, not so much for a tender, but definitely for stand-up paddle boards, wake boards, long equipment. Now, there are two ways to access this aft deck. The first one, 18-inch wide walkthrough. To the starboard side, 11 inches. Guess which one we'll take. This is a nice gathering area. It starts with U-shaped seating behind a solid surface table, 24 by 46 inches, and it's on a high-low pedestal, so we can lower it, add a filler cushion to make this into a sun pad. Just ahead, opposing seating, triple wide, like to see that. This is all under the protection of the overhead, six feet, seven inches. In the center of the deck, there's a hatch that leads to that storage compartment that we saw from the swim platform. And this makes it easy to drop things into from this main deck. Now this gate over to the starboard side, we can close it off to block off the side deck or just the companionway coming up. At the bow, there are two sun pads. Another pad can go in the middle. They come up into Shay's lounge position. The backing of the frame is what holds the support into position. I'd like to see separate little blocks so that we can put it into multiple positions instead of just the one. Now, as we make our way inside, there's a large door that gives us an opening 31 inches, glass partition. If we pull this cushion forward, it's a latch at the bottom, little bit tough to get to, but it's a fair compromise of space for what we're getting on this boat. Bring this up. And now we're seriously blending the inside with the outside. And on the subject of compromises and space that we're seeing throughout this boat, if I bring this latch up and close the door, notice that it hits right there. Now, somebody may point that out, but in my opinion, again, it's a fair compromise because why would you have this door closed if you've got this open? Now, moving into this area, I mean, look at all of this natural light coming through 360 degrees of glass. All this is under the protection of the overhead, six feet, eight inches off the deck. Over on the starboard side, wraparound seating surrounding a solid wood table with carved star in the woodwork. I really like that. This is also on a high-low table, so we can drop it down and make it into a berth if we have to. This forward seat back is reversible. Now, one thing I like over here, small area, I would say it's for putting a cell phone, would be nice to have an inductive charger there. Now, over to the port hand side, not so much a galley area, but a refreshment area. Corian counters, fiberglass trim, nice stainless grab rail going all the way around, and I like that it's got a modular look to it. Up on top, single basin stainless sink, and place to put the cover. There's storage, as well as refrigeration, and then more storage just behind. All of this with teak decking that extends from the outside to the inside. We don't usually see that. Back above to the port hand side, 32 inch flat screen TV. And I have to say on this hot South Florida day that we have right here, I'm really happy with the ventilation in this area. Of course, the whole back bulkhead opens up. There's an opening sunroof and then two manually opening windows to both sides. And I like that it's manually opening because if they were electric, it's something that may fail three, five years down the road. And I also like these latches. You pull out to release the latch and then you can open the window. And look at the nice quality materials that we're seeing with Galleon. There are no bare spaces of fiberglass. It's all either upholstered or painted. And notice how all the outlets have USB chargers. Now let's take a look down below. And the first thing I notice, this open atrium concept that pours so much light down below from this large single piece windshield. And down below this atrium just makes this even more spacious. The galley over on the port side starts with a hull side window. There's storage above and below, along with refrigeration. Double burner stove, but there's no 
range hood. I'd like to see that to get some ventilation going out if we do decide to cook on here. I'd also like to see some fiddles, some raised edges going around this counter, all Corian. There's a trash receptacle and a double basin stainless steel sink. I also like to see when a builder has dedicated storage for things like these covers. Galleon fit and finish, Alcantara suede going around all of the bulkheads, the vents matching the cabinetry, mirrors adding even more space and openness to this area. There's carpeting throughout this lower deck, but underneath the carpeting is hardwood decking and it matches the companionway stairs. And I also like the contrast between the dark and the light woods. The latches are all recessed, so you're not going to catch your clothes or a sweater on it. And when you close the door, a magnet brings it out and it's just a gentle touch and it's a positive hold. Nice job. Now let's check out the master stateroom. Now, when you come in, make a note that the deck is at an angle to accommodate the angle of the hull underneath. So your first inclination might be to step on that angle and your foot will slide down to the flat portion. Just something to be aware of. Also notice how the overhead has an irregular shape to accommodate all of the components up above. The most notable measurements, however, five feet, three inches to the deck right here, and then three feet, three inches from that piece to the top of the berth. The berth is center mounted, lined up on the keel, 76 by 63 inches. Beautiful headboard and I like the way it's backlit. Hull side windows to both sides. I like that there's a settee right here next to this hull side window. I'm also impressed with the amount of storage in this eight room. Hanging locker right here, and then another one right here. There's a vanity with compartmentalized storage. Just ahead, a TV is flush mounted into the bulkhead and there's more storage underneath. Now this is a two stateroom, two head both. The first head is the ensuite master. First thing I notice, something that's very unusual for a boat this size, this head has a separate walk-in shower and it's rather large. There's a hull side window going across the entire length of the head. There's an opening port light in the hull side window. Vessel sink on top of the Corian counter. There's storage underneath. There are mirrors up above with storage behind as well. Now, as we come forward just a bit, we have a day head. This is a wet head, still with Corian counters, hull side window, opening port light, and plenty of storage. And that leads us to our last stateroom. This is laid out in textbook galleon fashion, not so much an island berth as it's only accessible from the aft end of the port hand side. Fore and aft, it goes 76 inches deep. Headroom starts at six feet, six inches at the entry and drops down to just three feet at the forward end of the berth. There's a 24 inch TV at the aft bulkhead. Storage is excellent to both sides and more underneath. Plus there's a hanging locker to the starboard side and port side. Well, clearly this 425 HTS has a lot of big boat features in a smaller package, but there really doesn't seem to be a lot of compromises in space. It all comes together really nicely. I'm also glad to see that the fit and finish that we've come to appreciate from Galleon is still intact. And that's my features inspection of the Galleon 425 HTS. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.